Hello students, once again welcome back to our biology class. Myself Dr. Raghavim Rahir. Hope you are all studying very well, doing good. And uh, I know, yes, definitely you will be comfortable with uh, my class also. Fine, in the earlier class, uh, we studied about uh, number of uh, mainly the animal groups comes under the chart of animal kingdom. And previous class, we studied about uh, up to the class amphibians. So, today we will begin with the new group of animals. What they are? Basically, yes, we are going to discuss all about uh, the first, uh, the further group of the class reptilia. Let me just uh, go ahead here. Class reptilia. Fine. Class reptilia. So, this word reptilia derived from latin language so in the latin lt refers to be the latin in the latin there is a word reptum reptum or repare so repare that means it is the reptum or repare means either crawling crawling or creeping animals so, these animals, yes, crawling or creeping animals, what we say them, yes, they also adopted for aquatic mode of life as well as the terrestrial mode of life or arboreal mode of life, we can say. Fine, we can find the variety of the reptiles in this group, yes, they are even, seems to be flying, actually they are not flying, they are kind of gliding animals. So, we say that the gliding animal such as there is a flying jacko, we also call it a draco. So, variety of, uh, we can say that uh, diversity, yes, that is existing in this animal group and we can find all that. So, when you look at the classification of this class reptilia, right? So, it has nearly four well-known living orders. So, class reptilia is divisible into four important orders. The first order Yes, the first order, what we call as mainly. So, the, the first order as such, order is called as squamata. Squamata is a group of animals that includes mainly snakes and lizards. Snakes and lizards comes under order squamata. Then, the next order Yes, it is also called the rhynchocephalia. Rhynchocephalia. This order includes the animal called as Spanadon from New Zealand. Spanadon. The Spanadon is also called as the Twatara. Twatara. It is also known as a living fossil. Living fossil. Yes, most important uh, specific or distinguishable characters are there about this mainly Twatara, we are going to discuss that also. Next order, the next order is called as Chilones or Chilonia. So, this order mainly includes the animals like tortoises and turtles. Turtles. Tortoises are terrestrial, turtles are marine or aquatic. The last one more living order, what is that? So, it is called as the crocodilia. Crocodilia. Yes, this is the one more living order. This order includes crocodiles and alligators. Crocodiles and alligators alligators so these are the few yes well known living order or as such you might have studied that reptiles rule the world yes what is that golden period for reptiles so the golden period for reptiles is the jurassic period of mesozoic era somewhere very uh, ancient time we can say somewhere in between a 200 
million year ago up to 65 million year ago yes so they have mainly become the dominant creatures on this earth and these mainly we call them as we know them as the dinosaurs right so dinosaurs were the most powerful what we can say reptiles lived ever and there is no more any dinosaur existing they become extinct fine so why the species become extinct when they are unable to reproduce or they are unable to survive uh, in the changing or fluctuating environment yes they will not survive they die they will not be able to reproduce so the species become extinct fine so these are the, we can say that here these are the different types of orders and different types of uh, animals what we can say so as such according to the ncrt what are the important examples yes let me just uh, give you a list of those examples also yes as per the ncrt the well known examples of class reptilia we find it as mainly there is a calotis calotis also called as the what we can say that garden lizard garden lizard calotis then comes a chameleon chameleon is also called as a tree lizard tree lizard and then there is again what you can say crocodile crocodile yes so and one more mainly that is a kilonia okay or we can say that kilones kilones means they are mainly turtles turtles and hemidactylus hemidactylus so hemidactylus is basically known as wall lizard wall lizard hemidactylus then alligators yes alligators these are also aquatic larger than that of the crocodiles alligators and then there is the testudo testudo it is known as mainly the tortoises tortoises which are the terrestrial not the aquatic turtles are basically marine form marine or aquatic whereas the tortoises are terrestrial terrestrial we need to know the basic difference between alligators crocodiles turtles and tortoises yes we are going to discuss that also and then the next example it is mainly naja 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 is what the poisonous snake cobra okay there is one more bangaras bangaras also poisonous it is also known as a crate then vipera vipera is also known as viper so these are poisonous snakes poisonous snakes then one more yes non poisonous snake it is called as the python python is also known as the russell viper russell viper sometimes known as ajagar ajagar okay so these are the well known examples which are have been highlighted in the ncrt and you need to must and should remember these examples because the questions they may give you the scientific name or they may give you the common name you need to identify them yes they are what so this is what we are going to discuss today all about mainly the reptiles so reptile the word reptum or repere is derived from the latin language that means they are crawling or creeping animals and living orders squamata that includes the snakes and lizards and then order rhynchocephalia spanadon it is also called a living fossil because it exhibits certain what we can say the characters or a primitive type of characters so that what are the living fossil has 
highly photosensitive pineal gland and that is mainly visible and we can say that pineal eye spot so a pineal photosensitive structure which act like a third eye so this mainly the rhincocephalia or spanadon which have been seen in the mainly the new zealand and they are called as very very few species living so their uh, population also very very less and they are called as a living fossil kilonia the tortoises and turtles let me tell you turtle are flat body and then their shell is not so hard and their legs are modified like a flipper so that they can push the water and they can swim forward and the turtle are basically marine and carnivore animal their upper jaw is modified into beak like structure so they are called as a turtle where is the tortoise they are mainly the grass eating herbivore and their legs are flat their uh, shell is a dome shape shell and this is what we say the basic difference between a tortoise and a turtle then crocodiles yes crocodiles and alligator generally crocodiles are found mainly in the what you can say the rivers or the pond whereas in the large lake we can find mainly the alligators so the further jaw or the snout of the crocodile is narrow whereas the alligator snout is broad and then crocodile body is a medium size whereas the alligators may be growing up to 12 feet to 15 feet in length so they are larger in their body size so alligators are more stronger compared to the crocodiles so this is the basic difference between alligator as well as a crocodiles now according to ncert when we are talking so here calotis which is known as a garden lizard mainly found in the uh, mainly the gardens we can say that uh, their body entirely covered with the scales uh, cornified scales uh, skin without any gland we can say that uh, they do have the claws also they mainly eating the insects second comes mainly chameleon chameleon is the most important peculiar animal that has the ability to change its body color and it can very fast uh, yes merge with the surrounding we call it the ability of camouflage so chameleon having the ability to change its body color and then yes it can mainly uh, we can say that um, uh, camouflage with the surrounding and escape from the predators so now the crocodiles yes just now we have discussed the, the crocodiles what actually they they are crocodiles mainly aquatic and most of the time they are found in the fresh water either river or the lake or the streams then here the what we have seen mainly the uh, kilons c h e kilon kilon that means mainly the turtles which are the marine form and why they are marine yes they are adapted for that and their body is dorsoventrally flat and legs are flipper like helps in swimming their upper jaw is a beak like that helps in mainly tearing the jellyfishes because jellyfish are the most favorite food for these turtles and then the hemidactylus wall lizard yes so wall lizards in the home also we can see and they are most important hunters of variety of insects wall lizards wall lizards have what we can say that cup like the foot pad so that create a kind of vacuum and they just attach their foot to the wall and just as a vacuum created even to the ceiling they get attached but never fall down why because they have the vacuum creating foot pads with that they keep moving but they are most dangerous because they have the poisonous glands also in them alligators yes just now we have discussed it. their snout or the jaws are very broad large size body more powerful than that of the crocodiles then tested or tortoise which are herbivore and terrestrial foot are flat dome shape shell then they are grass eating animals naja naja or the king cobra and then the bangaras or the great viper or the vipera we can say these are all poisonous snakes so when you look at the poisonous snakes they do have the v shape spectacle mark 
when they raise their hood yes we can find on the hood and they are very contrasting body pattern very dark color contrasting body pattern they will have stripes they will have and then the scales the lower or the ventral scales are smaller than the upper scales and then the tail is dorsoventrally slightly flat also we can say and they have the poisonous glands they have the fangs they have mainly the the protrusible bifid tongue also so that is about the snakes the snakes don't have any tympanum they can't hear but they can perceive the vibrations very clearly so in the dark also they easily hunt their prey by protruding their tongue tongue is acting like a thermoreceptor which senses the temperature in the cold condition surrounding temperature is low but the prey it may be the rabbit or rat being a mammal the temperature of the body of this mammal is higher than the surrounding temperature and tongue will give a sensation as they go very close to the temperature source they will bite and then they will kill that animal they swallow that so here python russell viper we say or ajgar we say it is non poisonous one more important example i forgot to tell you that is it is also called as a draco draco or flying jacko flying jacko so this jacko is a lizard in fact its body is like this and then the tail will be like this so its ribs expanding and in between the ribs we find a flap of skin so as and when it want to yes glide or fly it will open up its flap of skin and easily glide and then yes it is gives an impression that it is a flying lizard but it's a gliding lizard so these are a few well known important examples yes what we have discussed let us understand by considering the most important uh, mainly animals and then their specific characters so that you can remember mainly the specific characters of these animals so let us understand the few important examples yes i am going to mention over here so we will be discussing about mainly the important features or characteristics of animal such as sphenodon after that yes we will discuss important characteristics of snake or the cobra then we will discuss about yes the diagram is given in the book chameleon right so there are number of important characters and once you understand those important characters yes there is no much difficulty in understanding mainly what we can say the uh, features or as a general characters also you will remember let me mention here the first example sphenodon sphenodon is also called as a tota or the living fossil living fossil so there are number of examples like monitor lizard or komodo dragon we say varanus we say then marine iguanas of galapagos island we say variety of examples do exist yes so here when i look at this animal so as a lizard definitely these animals have mainly tetrapedal by their locomotion so here is mainly the important feature of this animal what i am going to mention so the animal is mainly a lizard as such and these lizards exhibit the presence of something like a crown or the crest we say so they have scales that is scales the cornified skin what we call it as and then they are tetrapedal we can find they do have the eyes and then yes eyes 
they do have the nostrils and all the teeth are same homodont condition we find they do have what you can say tympanum over here then so yes pentadactyl condition we find so they have five digits we call it as a pentadactyl condition pentadactyl condition having the claws so sharp claws we can find so that help in climbing up of any what you can say the tree or yes or holding the prey so this is what we say and they do have what you can say pineal gland or we say it is the third eye and then yes they do have the tympanum tympanum then limbs pentadactyl pentadactylus then they possess mainly what we can say the claws so claws also they have and then yes the nostril as such they breathe through the lungs they do have the nostril and here is the eye then the tail yes this is what we talk about the living fossil spinodon next example yes we need to know it is a very interesting example we all the indians have a very auspicious feeling about that and also we have a fear for that hope you may be knowing i am going to draw the naja naja so the cobra fine so there are few important what we can say characters of naja naja the cobra so the cobra exhibit let me mention few important features of the cobra so it's a wonderful animal only thing is you should be away from that so this is the hood of the animal so it has the lungs in this hood so hood of the animal and then it has the trunk as such what you are observing now yes fine this is its further body structure so we find a lots of important characters yes you need to know all those important characters so we find they do have the modified molar teeth and they are called we are calling them as a fangs yes they have the fangs they have the nostrils they have the eyes okay yes they have the eyes no tympanum for them but the tongue is bifid tongue yes a spectacle mark v shape okay this v shape mark indicates they are more dangerous okay they are the poisonous so here in fact their body or the head region has a shield like or plate like scales so this shield like or plate like scales arranged throughout we can say that their head region and further the body is having lots of dead scales and snakes are known to mainly yes shed off their old skin and develop the new skin and that mechanism is called as yes swagging or mainly we call it as removal of old skin is also known as a casting so they come out with the new skin every time because inside the body is growing but skin is not that much flexible to stretch or extend so here the snakes are most importantly yes friends of the farmer we can say why because the snakes known to eat these rats because the rats known to cause a huge loss to the farmer and yes such kind of threat by the rats 
rabbits yes all that is mainly controlled by the snakes so unnecessarily yes we should not kill the snakes because they are the natural predators and snakes are again eaten up by or controlled by the owl as well as the vultures and then even peacocks so for every animal to control its population nature has its own uh, mechanism or the rule as the being human we need not to interfere in all those things so yes let the environment let the nature operate on its own human need to yes live like other any animal not as a boss for all the animal otherwise yes nature will create lots of thing to control the human population and human population will suffer a lot with the number of pandemic situations like what we are observing the corona so human need not to exploit the nature otherwise nature will control the human activity by creating the tsunami volcanic eruptions earthquake number of pandemic things yes here what you are observing the body or the structure of mainly the cobra yes it is mainly protrusible protrusible what we can say bifid bifid tongue okay and then they do have the nostrils yes and then yes the eye and people have the misconception that the snakes will have nagmani in their forehead or in the hood and say simply they keep on killing as such there may not be any kind of such things and there is no reincarnation or people say that snake can become human human can become snake all such fascinating stories just to entertain so here we can say that spectacle mark spectacle mark is the indication of yes it is a poisonous snake and this part we call as a hood this part is called as a trunk and this is all the tail yes now they do have what we can say the fangs fangs are mainly modified mainly the sharp teeth molar teeth they are hollow by nature inside like they have the canal and further they are connected with a poison gland so poison will be released very soon as and when it is mainly biting so these are the fangs and then poison glands poison glands fine so the trunk and then what we say these are the cornified scales of the body so the snakes are yes in number of way they exhibit a very distinct character that they have the bifid protrusible tongue and also these snakes in their buccal cavity the floor of buccal cavity has the organ called as a jacobson's organ so this is the buccal cavity of the snake and it has a organ called jacobson's organ jacobson's organ which is mainly olfactory receptors olfactory receptor means we can sense the smell jacobson's organ is mainly at the floor of the buccal cavity or the roof of the sorry roof of the buccal cavity so yes buccal cavity at the roof of buccal cavity we can find the jacobson's organ or olfactory receptors will be there they can sense the smell they can sense the temperature they can sense the vibration just by protruding their tongue out and then the spectacle mark or v shape mark indicated the dangerous or poisonous and the teeth are mainly modified premolar teeth into the fangs which are hollow by nature because behind they are connected by the poison gland and every now and then yes they will remove their or shed their old skin what it is called as a yes skin casting is seen in mainly the snakes snakes do snakes uh, change skin or 
they instead of change or shed their old skin shed old skin the mechanism is called as a casting okay so these are mainly what we say these are the mainly carnivore predators fine so still some more animal groups are there that we are going to discuss in the next class so in the present in today's class we have discussed two important examples one is panadon other one is a cobra naja naja well so see you in the next class with some more examples till then take care thank you very much